Okay, in the last video I talked about the uh, power training video. Um, basically the uh, animation is very well done in this. Uh, it's, it's one part live action, you know, for the introduction or whatever, but the actual gameplay that's happening, interactive gameplay that's happening is um, uh, done with animation. Um, and then there was two other videos. I don't have those, but those are pretty readily available on uh, YouTube to uh, view or download. Um, here are two sets of instructions that came with this. The animation was very well done. It was done by Artmic, who, if you know, they did the animation for um, for uh, Bubblegum Crisis and uh, Bubblegum Crash and 80 Police Files, which has a deep relation with Captain Power, and I'll tell you more about that later on. But uh, I did write in this the, on the scorecard here. I was a little nerd back then, so still am. Um, and then, you know, it goes over what's on all these. There's the video um, 2, and then there's video 3. Uh, I don't have the other two videos, so some purists will say that this is not a complete collection because of that reason. But uh, there was four activity books that were released. I only have the I only have two. Those, of course, are written in as well. They're you know they have little games and coloring books and coloring book pages and uh, uh, puzzles that you could solve. Um, there's profile cards that came with all the. Uh, um, I have two XT7 ones: uh, Phantom Striker, Interlocker, Energizer, and the Power Base. And then I also have them all for the figures. These aren't the full backing cards. These are just the part of the card, or the part of the backing card that were like profiles for each of the characters. And I have um, one for each of the characters. Uh, and also in a cereal box, I think they had given out these stamps and some Kellogg cereal, and I got them. There's a bunch of different colors, and it shows each person's emblem. Um, blah blah blah. Um, then there was these targeting things. Uh, which were basically reflectors. Uh, you could shoot and you could find an angle to where you could get a reflection back and it would shoot back at you. It was really silly. Um, it did the, sh the um, not only was it interactive with the show, but it kind of had an inner interactive with each other. Like you could shoot at the plane, the planes at each other and stuff. It's kind of like a laser tag thing, only more vehicle wise instead of, you know, you running around. They did have a laser tag set for Captain Power it was really expensive. It was one of the first things I think that they brought out actually. Um, but then they realized that, you know, laser tag was really huge. Um, but that uh, the, it was basically Captain Power's gun, a large version of Captain Power's gun that you held in your own hand yourself. And, and I think you wore this thing that was like a, a targeting thing and, and all this other stuff. But I don't have that. Um, and again, purists might say that this isn't a complete collection because of that, but screw them on that because uh, I think that this is a complete collection and that's why I call it a complete collection. Uh, Volcano was never released and the, and the two vehicles, one or two vehicles for the uh, for Blastar and for Sauron, I don't think really count either because they weren't interactive, they weren't really out for very long, even the power base wasn't out for long and it's actually kind of rare that I even have this, especially with all the pieces. Um, for those who don't know, Captain Power hid out in a power base. And what he would do was, um, you know, it was hidden from uh, Lord Dread, the bad guy. And, uh, bam, he could just all of a sudden just attack you. He's got this pivoting um, thing. You could sit a guy in here. It doesn't have an ejector seat like the other things do. But what does eject is um, there was a lot more energy to the power base. So you set this up in front of your television or around a bunch of people who are shooting at you. And um, there was these red things. I don't know if you can really see the color red back here, but they would push out. You could put guys in here. They would push out, bam, you know. And then it would also push out this other one. And then the door would pop out too, bam, like that. And um, <clears throat> this all full, fully works the last time I, I played with it that way. Um, and I'm sure it it still pretty much works. This uses, uh, I think, either two C batteries or two D batteries plus a nine volt, just like the other ones do. Um, and then when you finally lost the whole, like if you got down to zero points on this, the seat would shake, knock all the guys out of their seats, and if you had guys in your seats. Um, 
then there is the two arms of this. All the stickers are intact here, and they're they're better placed on this one than they are on the other stuff, and uh, they're you know cleaner and everything else. So that's not too much of a problem. Um, all the guns are pretty much poseable and everything. Here was a thing that a guy could sit in and protect this thing as it rolled out. There's two arms that roll out. This rolls out. These are extra pieces. Don't think that this is broken or whatever. These are actually extra pieces just in case they were they kind of clamp this thing together and then this thing onto the power base itself, the heavier part. Uh, they made it break apartable so that you could is break apartable a word? Break apartable so that you could um so that you could uh, store it easier, which you know is going to make this a lot easier for shipping when you guys uh, make bids on this and get it. Uh, this also rolls out, and and then it detaches, and that can be a tank, a tank tower, or you can break this apart and just make it a straight up tank. It, this is a reflector as well. It's supposed to spin. It spins a little bit, but not enough. I mean, not like it used to. It's a reflector too, just like those reflector targets that I was talking about. So like when they shoot at you, it'll shoot back at them. Um, and then these are posable guns, and this rolls around like a tank. This also attaches to the other tank tread, which is underneath this thing. The uh, Here's a ladder that attaches. It stays on pretty much. Um, but like a kind of like a uh, apple seed or bubblegum crisis thing, there's these legs that crawl out. And, you know, you could detach that whole thing and then drive it around like a tank. Or you could flip these legs down and the tank part could fall out. This was supposed to be like landing jet for the XT7. It was supposed to just land on top of this and then be its like kind of like a helipad or something for it. And then the tank would roll out and you could put a guy in here and roll that around. And you could detach this and that as well and put it on top of this tank. So kind of goofy but there you go uh, all the parts are here all the railings the uh, captain power insignia things for the arms the um, they still work uh, pretty well put together this is where you put the batteries down here and then there's an entrance I don't know if you can really see the hole let me see yeah there's the entrance um, and then there was like a speaker system uh, most of them had a beep system but this one had kind of like more a uh, better speaker system um, kind of like how the interlocker had a better um, scoring thing. It had like uh, this little digital clock-like thing uh, that told you your score instead of you having to wait for the beeps to um, know what your score was. So I've torn this apart, but it all works. All the parts are together. In fact, it has these extra things to uh, attach this in case they break or something like that. But these are pretty sturdy, um, unlike some of the other parts that aren't so sturdy, especially with the figures and the X-T7. Um, so this is uh, what I would call a complete collection. doesn't have all the videos, but you can get those on YouTube. It uh, has all of the main sets, and Volcania, I don't include that because it's uh, kind of... It was never released, and um, even if it were, it would have been, ended up being more expensive and bigger than the power base. Uh, from the concept art that I did see on the back of the vehicle and this is going from memory from when I was nine years old which you know isn't good or bad or anything it's just you know I, I don't remember it I saw it once and it wasn't photographic but I remember it was a big place mat and then there was this volcano in the center and they had like two or three kids around it and it dwarfed them it was kind of silly um, I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make it a uh, third or a second video break for a third video.